Hello everybody, welcome to day three of swatching. And today I'm going to be swatching one of my favorite combination of colors. It's again Lucas Cobalt Turquoise with Winsor Newton Lemon Yellow Deep PY159. And I do like these two together quite a lot. I just have no idea what to use a color for other than sometimes for cat eyes maybe cat eyes yes yes okay um, I'll go with that I'll go with that I might do the same thing as yesterday not like really talk too much while I swatch these out and then while I'm not talking I can speed up the footage I hope I've got enough paint prepared today because yesterday I was a little bit too not enough. And I'm trying to go a bit more from one color to the other. Let's see how that goes. This is the, this is what happens when you don't make any plans. And I haven't really planned any of this out. All I know is I want to swatch different color combinations for a hundred days. Planning. I mean, planning is overrated anyway. Best, the best laid plans always just come completely unravel when they come in contact with reality anyway. So we might as well wing it. And I'm winging it. I am totally winging it. So let's see. I guess the answer is no, there wasn't enough paint to last. Because I'm pretty sure I can get this a bit darker still, but I'm mostly out of turquoise. This is that's maybe one of my complaints with the Lucas Cobalt Turquoise. You do need quite a lot of it. And oh, I've forgotten to get the tube out again. I will get the tube out before I'm done with this color for a while at least. I think I'll think I'll do more two more mixes with the Cobalt Turquoise and that's switch to something else because it's gonna get boring. And I don't want to get bored, and I don't want you to get bored. some more. Oh, and I've got plenty. I guess it doesn't help that I'm not exactly mixing on the cleanest of plates, but that's how I paint. So why wouldn't I like swatch like that either as well? There might be something else, a tiny wee little bit, but it's not enough to like make an actual difference. But can you see here with these, these two colors are both granulating. And I do think that together they make like a very nice granulating mix. Okay, let's get us a bit more wire down. Let's go in the other direction again. The wash remixes. Because I still have plenty of lemon yellow here, so. And I do post the photos of the dried swatches every day on Instagram. So if you want to see what they look like dry, I have put the Instagram, my Instagram account in the description of the videos. So you can go there and see what they look like every day. Oh no, that wasn't so bad though. Just put a little bit more yellow in this one, I think. Yeah, and I went. 
went from fairly yellow to mostly turquoise and then, well, okay, these three could have maybe, but there's not too much difference between all of these. And the, I'll get better at this. This is all, it's all a learning process, isn't it? Well, there we are. Cobalt turquoise and Windsor and Newton lemon yellow deep. I do quite like the Windsor Newton yellow, uh, Yemen yellow deep. I think they're, I've, I've seen quite a few people say they don't like it because it's difficult to re-wet once it's dried. And I mean, yes, you do need to give it some time to um, re-wet if you want to use it. And I always use plenty of water when I use it, but then I find it actually re-wets okay. And I like it for mixing. And it's a granulating yellow. There aren't many. There's only there's only PY159 as far as I remember. It's got the Schmincke version as well, which granulates more. That will be swatched out at some point as well, I guess, probably. Well, thank you again for joining me. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you like watching other people swatch because it's only day three. There are 97 more to go. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye now. Bye.